I thought you said you killed him. It was a very brief reprieve. We raided the agency a few days ago. You got him at his office? No. But the office has been closed and will not open again. You got the Ortmeier files? They're still in circulation. But we learned that the files are almost entirely useless without a fresh bone marrow sample from 47. So even dead, he's a threat. Only until he's cremated. About 20 minutes from now. How'd you finally get him? He got overconfident and greedy. He took on the most difficult, most highly paid assassination attempt in history. The presidential attack? The very one you asked about at the start of our conversation. Ready to hear how it really went down? Quite pleased to have you on this assignment, Mr. 47. The nation's gratitude... Skip the patriotism, Smith. Of course. <laughs> have you read the briefing? Not yet. Give me the big picture. The Vice President of the United States is plotting with Mark Parchesi. I assume you're familiar with him? I know his work. Good. They're planning to assassinate the President as soon as he gets back from Los Angeles. Another drink, sir? Please. There's more detailed info on both men in the briefing. Can I do anything else for you? I'm looking forward to finally working with you. I'll contact you if I need more information. Beyond that, never contact me in person again. Sorry, gentlemen. My niece's birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did you get your present? It's everything I've ever wished for. My own access card to the White House. Is the roof alarm taken care of? Yes, Pumpkin. Everything is just fine. I'm afraid Uncle has to go now. I'll call you back later and we can talk all about your party. <laughs> you know how little girls are. Listen up, 47. The President of the United States is about to be assassinated. You'd expect the CIA, FBI, or Secret Service to prevent the assassination, but we can't rely on them. We can't rely on them because the man behind this assassination is the acting Vice President. The same shadowy group that got him appointed to the Vice Presidency wants to put him into the Oval Office. They've got pull at every domestic agency. The assassins are probably already in position, in the White House. Unless you can stop them, the president will almost certainly be assassinated as soon as he returns from Los Angeles. Your targets are the notorious assassin, Mark Parchesi III, and the vice president himself. Belongings on the belt, then walk through there.
Justice is waiting for her for walk. Hello, Daniel. I'm talking to you. Justice needs her walk. Whatever. So, you're the famous Mark Parchesi the Third. You don't want to kill me, 47. I'm just like you. Our similarities are irrelevant. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to.
government employees only. 